and it is Kenyans who suggested instead of me helping people with my own money, it is better I look for something that they can come together and assist me. And I figured out cooking for street kids, which ran so well, which was supported so well, until the arrival of Facebook, which is on Kenyan TikTok. I found out people are idling too much on this TikTok. So the arrival of Facebook, Facebook witchcraft has killed Kenyan TikTok. The arrival of Facebook witchcraft has killed Kenyan TikTok. It has denied street children food, children who don't have a place to sleep, a place to go, children who have, have absolutely nothing, zero. Kenyan Facebook witchcraft has worked so hard to put this project to a stop in the name of everybody stealing. Anybody doing anything good on Kenyan TikTok is stealing and has to be stopped. And Kenyans have allowed it, and it has happened. And as for me, I'm out. I'm done. I'm waiting for the thunder that is going to strike. When you punish the destiny connector of a poor person, you don't punish that person. You punish the people who benefit from that project. And the people that has, have been affected directly is not me. Not at all. Mimi nitakuwa, nitakuja, niseme tap 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 tuma money gun, nitume munatuma, then I use the money gun to meet my needs. Normally, I don't depend on mchango money on Kenyan TikTok. Mchango money used to go directly to Kenya on somebody else's hand, not even me. I didn't used to manage that money. Hata mkini uliza iyo pesa ilikuwa ina manejiwa aje. I don't know because the people who needed that money, we had to deliver that, deliver that money to the nearest person who can deliver that help to those people. And they did a perfect job. I can never accuse anybody of thieving while the person is doing a job that they are expected of and on camera they were not just stories chinedu and wajakoya did that job on camera they did a great job ni mungu atawarudishia binadamu hata ukue padri leo hata ukue nani hata ukue nini they will still find a reason to hate on you no matter what nimesikia pastor mwingine amesema leo asubuhi jamani mchawi ni kama mavi na hiyo mavi yanuka you cannot always keep addressing mavi yenye umeacha kwa kwa kichaka na inanuka what deserves hiyo mavi ni inzi inzi nzio ita, ita fly kwa hiyo mavi ni hivyo Sasa wewe ukishinda ume address mavi umeacha kwa kichaka si nyinyi nyote ni wazimu nobody will know the difference So wachawi kwa hii TikTok ni kama mavi yangu nimeiacha kwa kichaka ikaukie huko They will get their reply from God The work I was doing in Kenya I was assigned by Kenyans themselves when they realized I had a potential to do charity because I am, I'm just a charity person. I'm just a charity person. That is the way I was born. Yeah, and it is Kenyans who suggested instead of me helping people with my own money, it is better I look for something that they can come together and assist me. And I figured out cooking for street kids, which ran so well, which was supported so well, until the arrival of Facebook, which is on Kenyan TikTok. Nikitoka hapo, 
nikitoka hapo I want to address Lady J in a good way. Lady J, thank you so much for applauding me that I'm a good person. I can make things happen, which is true. We 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 made things happen. We did marvelous uh, charity jobs as Kenyan as big Kenyan TikTokers. We did a marvelous job. But I would love now to just sit in a corner and relax and enjoy myself before the Lord God says, now it is your time, come to me, my daughter. You have done a good job. So, Lady J, thank you so much for nominating me to join a movement, Yamchango, again for a lady who didn't see it fit for Rosa to help her. That lady talked shit about Rozo. Rozo could have helped that woman easily. Shirosheri could have helped that woman easily. That woman decided to take the wrong path and seek help. There is a price for everything. There is a price for every decision we make. There is no way at the end of it all Rosa was a bad person. Shirosheri was a bad person. The, the child was going to be sacrificed. And now, Nyako and other TikTokers will not sacrifice that child. For me, I think the lady should go on with the same theory that they started, that her child will be sacrificed. I am not going to get involved in that mchango in any way. I hope the message is home. That is the reason. That is the main reason. I'm not going to be part of that mchango. If Rosa could sacrifice that child, what about me? What about Nyako? What about other TikTokers that could have easily helped that child without... Iyo propaganda yote without iyo kelele yote. If you continue to entertain this Facebook witches on this Kenyan TikTok, watu wengi watangamia. Let us go back to our old days TikTokers and we do good things the way we used to do. This gaslighting, this witch hunting is pure jealousy. People who want to jump in a platform and want to make it like everybody else they found on it. I bled. I worked hard for my fame. It was not served to me on the table. I didn't just arrive on TikTok platform and, and started earning. It took me six months before I saw a dime on TikTok platform. While Facebook witches want to earn money immediately. They arrive on Kenyan TikTok platform and they are the best. They are the know-it-all. They are the German government. They are the law court. They are the safaricom. They are everything. Wanawake wawili akili sewage, but you will still find people watching them and listening to their bullshit. Akili zenu ziku wapi? If I may ask. Akili meacha wapi wa Kenya? If you can allow such people to lead you, then where are you headed? An innocent child is in bed, is suffering. A child that could have been helped long time ago, just because the mother decided to take the wrong path and cheer the wrong people and inflict pain on people that could have helped her. Every decision ikona repercussion there is no way this lady is now an angel all of a sudden no way i'm not going to get involved i'm sorry na nimemaliza wacha niendelee na maisha yangu if you guys can deny street children food Nobody special out there. Everybody need that help. So long as you have decided, you have Kenyan TikTok have decided street kids are going to stay 
hungry. Leave me out of your mchangos. Leave me out of it. Thank you. I have never seen somebody full of bad energy like this, this, this people I'm seeing on TikTok. It is scary. Hata you wana report. Hata you washa report. And then you go hang out my shank. Eh, ni mekunyo uji ni mesweat. Guys, jana si kumaliza, kufua. Nataka kumalizia leo. I want to finish today. And then, I'll make time kupiga pasi. Nikona too much manguo. Ya kupiga pasi. hii mnasema pesa zake ni za kishetani binadamu binadamu waezi saidika binadamu kusaidia binadamu hata ukimsaidia bado atapata kitu ya kukuongelelea 
ni lazima so ai kusaidia binadamu ni ngumu guys kusaidia binadamu ni ngumu sana mtu instead akuwe mjinga apate usaidizi eh you don't know how to get help, help in this world unanyenyekea kwanza ndio baadaye unakuwa mjeuri uliona vile bitches mudoni alisaidika na vile amebaki humble to date i admire that girl i myself i went to visit bitris mudoni kenyata hospital when she needed tiktok the most mnakumbuka bitches mudoni bado wako na sisi and she has really humbled herself because you know what jason atarudishwa india tena in the next two years and she will still come for us and tell us naitaji usaidizi na tutamsaidia because you know what ameji humble ukitaka usaidizi unalala chini mchawi anaweza kukusaidia ni vile utanyenyekea even a wicked person can help you ni unyenyeke hiyo wickedness yake ona mbele ya safari ukishapata usaidizi i hope volume iko sawa but let me go and make my bed now then i go shopping Ishmus, I have to go out. I have to go out and buy. Hey, ini kitanda ya mtu. Volume iko sawa. Is this somebody's bed? Ni watu. Look at that bed. Look at that horror. Mna na bed mi ulala na my son Miki I have to remove everything Kira kitu 